Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use and drive around the unreleased cars and vehicles that were added in the Diamond Casino Heist update in Grand Theft Auto Online before they actually come out. So when I'm making this video, which is on Tuesday, January 7th, 2020, Rockstar have only released uh, four vehicles from the unreleased cars of the Diamond Casino Heist. The Gratti Furia supercar from the Legendary Motorsports site, and then three vehicles from the Warstock Cash and Carry site. The Invade and Persuade Tank, the JB700W, and the Rune Zaba. And basically, if any of the drip feed vehicles Rockstar have introduced have a trade price, that means that they can be used in the Diamond Casino heist in some way, shape, or form. And that means you'll be able to use it a bit early, which is kind of cool. So for this, there's only a couple of prerequisites that you have to do in order to get this set up so you can try out some of these new cars. The first is to actually set up the heist itself. So if you haven't done that yet, you're going to have to scope out the casino and you're going to have to establish the vault contents, whether that's cash, artwork, gold, diamonds at some point in the future. You're going to have to figure out what's in the vault and then from there, you're going to have to select your approach. Now, all of this up until this point does not matter. You could have cash, you could have artwork, you could have gold, you could be doing the aggressive approach, silent and stealthy, the big con. None of that really matters. You just need to get to the point where you get to the second whiteboard. And at the second whiteboard, here is where things start to become more important. And you'll need to select the right driver. So there's a couple of different drivers that you can choose from. You can choose from Kareem Denz, who is 5%. You can choose Taliana Martinez, who takes 7%. You can choose Eddie Toe, who takes 9%. Zach Nelson, who takes 6%. And you can take Chester McCoy, who takes 10% of your cut. So those are your options right there. And as you guys can see, as we switch between each one, they're going to offer different choices as far as your vehicles go. In fact, under each driver, you guys can see there that there are four total vehicles. And once you select the driver, you'll be able to choose which one you want. Now, each one of those drivers has at least one unreleased vehicle that you can choose from. So, for example, Kareem Denz actually has the Dinka Ballista Kanjo, which is one of the unreleased cars. Uh, Taliana Martinez has the Drift Yosemite, which is one of the unreleased vehicles. I believe Eddie Toe has the Karen Sultan Classic, which again is also going to be one of those unreleased vehicles. And then our next getaway driver, Zach Nelson, I believe he has the Strider, the Nagasaki Strider, uh, which again is another unreleased car. And then Chester McCoy, I think he might actually have two. He has the Rune Zaba, which has already been released, so uh, that's really not important for this video. But I, he also has the Nagasaki Outlaw as well. So long story short, no matter which getaway driver you choose, you're going to be able to have access to an unreleased vehicle. And once you have access to an unreleased vehicle, you basically have to source it. You have to go about the mission in which you actually acquire the getaway car. So for my choice, I ended up going with Kareem Denz, and this allowed me to get access to the Issy Classic, the Asbo, the Kanjo, or the Sentinel Classic. Now, in this case, I definitely wanted to choose the Kanjo because that's the unreleased vehicle of the bunch. So once you start the mission, all of them are going to be different in terms of the tasks that they're going to require you to do. It also depends on your setup as well. So some of your setups will allow you to do it in a more conventional fashion, like stealing cars if you pretend you're a valet. Others will have you just literally breaking into a police station, which is kind of what I had to do. And you have to find the cars and drive them out. Now, here's where this process is going to take a little bit of a fork in the road. If you're doing this with a second person, you can actually use these vehicles in free roam. So what you need to do is have both of the getaway vehicles, since there's always two of them, have both of the getaway vehicles out from where you found them. And then what you want to do is blow one of them up. So if one of the vehicles are destroyed, that means that the mission ends and you can just simply use this vehicle in free roam. The car would become unlocked 
so that other players could enter it, and you could go about doing your business without having to deliver it to your arcade. Now that still doesn't mean you have the ability to keep the car, you can't bring it to the Los Santos Custom Shop, you can't you know, apply insurance to it, so if it gets destroyed as well, it's gone, but at least this will give you the opportunity to drive it about in free roam, outside of the actual heist mission. Now if you're doing this solo, like I'm doing it here, you basically only have the heist mission itself in order to be able to enjoy these cars. Because if you're doing it solo like myself, your objective is to bring it back to your arcade, and sure, you could just drive it around the map once you lose cops, that's totally fine, but your main objective here is still to bring it back to the arcade. And once you've brought the first one into the arcade, you're pretty much stuck, you have to go about getting the second one and bringing that to the arcade as well. Now, once you've got the vehicles to the arcade, you pretty much can't do anything else with the getaway cars, even if they are unreleased vehicles. The only thing you can do is modify them so that they are better prepared for the actual heist finale itself. And you can also choose to like remove the livery and add a different respray option if you want. But that's about it. Other than that, you basically just have to look at them inside of your arcade and wait for Rockstar to officially release them. Now, if you're interested in checking out all of the unreleased vehicles and having them in online, what you can do is just simply every time you start up a new heist, you can select a different driver, thus selecting a different unreleased vehicle. Or if you just really only care about the cars, you can cancel the heist once you've acquired the unreleased vehicles and then you can just do the same thing over and over and over again, which would definitely take you less time, but you obviously wouldn't be completing the heist mission, so I don't know how many of you guys would want to go about doing that. Now, this trade price that you get for all these vehicles is actually pretty significant. For the Karen Sultan Classic, it brings your price down to $1,288,500, when its original price is $1.718 million, so pretty steep right there. For the Nagasaki Outlaw, your price drops to $951,000 from $1,268,000. For the Declasse Drift Yosemite, your price drops to $981,000 from $1,308,000. For the Dinka Sugoi, your price drops to $918,000 from $1,224,000. And for the Dinka Blista Kanjo, which is the car that I was using today, your price drops to $435,000 from $580,000. So you're saving 25% on each vehicle. And the only other unreleased one from the Legendary Motorsports site that you can use is the Nagasaki Strider, where its price drops to $502,500 from $670,000 as the original price. And there's a few others as well, the Grati Furia, but that's already been released, and same with the Rune Zaba, which has already been released as well. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because Rockstar actually didn't advertise it all that well, that you can use these unreleased cars in the Diamond Casino Heist. Because when you're scrolling over which driver to pick, you know, they don't even tell you which vehicles are available. It's just these small little photos. So you might not have even known that there's some unreleased vehicles that you can use in there. So it can be effective for just checking out the vehicles and online, or if you really want to dive into it, you can obviously complete the heist with the unreleased cars, and when they do end up arriving, you'll get the trade price for them. And if you're considering buying all of these vehicles, getting 25% off of each one is going to save you millions when it's all said and done, like easily two or three million dollars on all these cars. So I know it might seem tedious, but if you want to make money and save money at the same time when these vehicles arrive, this is something you might want to do. But anyways, that right there is how you can check out, drive, and get the unreleased vehicles from the Diamond Casino Heist update in Grand Theft Auto Online before they're officially released in-game. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Of the unreleased vehicles we have so far, which one are you looking forward to the most? Is it one of the ones that you can use in the heist itself? Or is it one completely different? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Diamond Casino Heist videos that I'm going to be doing here on my channel over the next couple of days and weeks. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll automatically be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.